This video is brought to you by these YouTube members. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. Alright, hello everyone. Welcome to the top 10. Nope, that's the wrong video list. That's the wrong series. Whoops, my bad. Welcome to a tier list. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so used to doing the whole, uh, doing going from this to the top 10 and it just kind of it skipped my mind. Anyway, let's forget that didn't happen because I'm not going to edit it out because that was funny. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. This is the, uh, this is the power holo killer tier list on BBS as of, uh, today, which is 12, 19, 2021. I know some of these characters are going to get resurrected. Fingers crossed that Toshiro gets, uh, gets resurrected soon. I know, I know that they're, uh, uh, starting to do manga stuff again, or I don't know about new characters, but at least for the old ones. So I'm, fingers crossed, you know? Uh, also the, the thousand year blood war got announced for October of 2022 and it looks amazing. They chose the best song. It's been stuck in my head. Ever since. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with Sajin, the original Sajin. Not great. He's going to end up in F. Uh, he's just not a good character. I think he has Frenzy or Bombardment or something. Either way, his range just sucks. His link's not great. Resurrection link, not great. He's just going to end up there. Same thing with the, uh, the uh, uh, original version of Yama. The Metal Exchange Toshiro, just because it's a Metal Exchange character. He's actually no, this one is the uh, the power one. He's not a Metal Exchange character. He does have some things over that Metal Exchange character, but they're both really bad characters, so they're both gonna end up in in F. Uh, next we have Lisa, who, as much as it hurts me, well, we're gonna put her in D. You can actually use her because she does have slightly better range than the people uh, below her, uh, but it, she's still not a good character. Um, she does have better range on her normal attack. Unfortunately, she's not really a normal attacker. She got bombardment, uh, but her strong attacks with enough with a high enough stats can actually be used because of the range. So we're gonna go ahead and put him in, in D. Uh, same thing with Momo. Actually, Momo is actually not an awful, awful character. Not like some of the other characters uh, that were around the same time. Uh, she's a ranged character whose normal attacks don't pierce, but we're kind of used to that. Uh, she's also a strong attack character, so that doesn't really matter. Her strong attack three has pretty good range. Plus she has Frenzy and a Hollow Killer. We're also going to put her in D for that reason. Uh, she's not great, eh, but you know, she's workable. Uh, next we have Metal Exchange character. We're going to put him down here. Jinta, sorry. Sorry, buddy. You're, 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 you're going to go down there. Uh, next we have the Shinji. Now this Shinji actually uh, isn't the best character in the world, obviously, but he is actually usable. He's got Frenzy, decent range on strong attacks, uh, decent stats, a strong attack recharge link, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you can actually salvage him and make something good out of him. If you have uh, a decent enough stuff, you're just not going to have that much range, which is kind of understandable given that he's a really old character at this point. Uh, next up, we have Rukia. I am very saddened by this Rukia. I really like the design of this character, her moves and everything. She, unfortunately, they gave him a bombardment. She doesn't have frenzy. Um, good uh, killer with the hollow, good range and strong attacks. Not the best, but decent just because she came out at a time where they were giving him decent range. Unfortunately, she's not that great of a character. We're going to put her in D as she doesn't deserve F. But she is also not in, you know, a great character. Uh, next we have Asane. Asane is not a good character. Also got bombardment. Got some status elements on strong attacks, but not enough to actually make her viable. Uh, she does, however, have a pretty good link. She's got a, uh, a strong attack. Uh, oh, she's got stamina recovery and a full stamina damage, uh, which is actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good duo to have because it's 25 stamina recovery and then I think 16 stamina damage. I don't remember exactly. Either way, good combo. Not a good character. Decent enough link. We're going to put her in D just because she's just, she's just a link. Honestly, she's just a link. Uh, next up is a Metal Exchange character. We're going to put you here. Sorry, buddy. Uh, okay, now we have Toshiro. Now, <laughs> this guy is loved by everyone. Everybody loves this version of Toshiro and who can blame him? He's really, really good. He's not top tier anymore. No way he's going to be an, an S. Uh, I was tempted to put him in B just because he doesn't have many multipliers, doesn't even have Bruiser, doesn't have Berserker, does have Frenzy. That said, he has exceptional range for someone who doesn't have Havoc. He's got a, a strong attack 1 and 2 that have better range than a lot of the characters that came out at the same time. And his special, in addition to dealing freeze, also deals weak in defense. So I'm gonna put him in A, but he's just barely an A. He went from B to A and it's just barely there. He's a really good character who has so much potential when he gets resurrected and I think they're going to do a lot with him. Uh, but until then, he's just going to be an A because he has pretty good range and a pretty good kill, uh, pretty good special. Um, okay, now we have Senna. Senna got the uh, strong attack uh, increase um, with Berserker at 20 after she got resurrected, which I'm so glad they're resurrecting movie characters um, or they resurrected movie characters since, you know, 
movie characters. Uh, but she also got a, a stamina recovery link in addition to her strong attack recharge link. Um, unfortunately, even with Havoc, her strong attacks don't have the best range. She does have a beam shot. She also has a strong attack 3 that has really good range. But even with Havoc, it's not full screen. Um, I'm, I'm, <sighs> she does have that extra damage, but unfortunately her normal attacks don't pierce. Her strong attack 2 is a crawling vortex move, which... While effective in specific scenarios, makes her really, really slow, I'm gonna put her in B. Strangely enough, she can deal more damage with her strong attacks than Toshiro, but they're just, she didn't give her a good kit, unfortunately. Uh, so we're just gonna leave her in B. Okay, next we have Yama. I love this character. I don't like his normal attack. It can inflict burn along with everything else he has. Uh, his normal attack doesn't pierce, but everything else he has is actually really, really good. Yama has a charge move strong attack 3, a hybrid vortex move strong attack 2, and a beam shot strong attack 1, which is good for multiple reasons. The beam shot is a beam shot, because beam shots are good. Um, the, the hybrid vortex move hits more than the average number of times, like, you know, inflicting, uh, increasing the chance of inflicting burn, and then, of course, there's that strong attack 3 that doubles in strength and fully charged. He doesn't have havoc, so he doesn't have a full screen attack, but he does have a strong attack damage link. Uh, increasing the damage he deals with them. I am gonna put him in B. I don't think he's good enough to be in A. He's still a really, really good character. Um, he actually has two killers, a Hollow Killer and, and a Roncar Killer. I think it's a Roncar. Let me double. No, it's a Hollow Killer and a Soul Reaper Killer. Even better. Uh, so he's a really, really good character. So we're gonna put him in B. Um, not quite strong enough yet. I think he, he is lacking in a little bit of range and a little bit of power, but B is as far as he goes. Okay, next we have this guy. So the, uh, the, the Hellverse version of Ichigo was not that good until he got resurrected. He actually got uh, Flurry, which makes him so much better since it makes his attacks hit twice as hard. Uh, and he, he has a normal tech damage link of 25%, increasing that and affecting it twice since he, his attacks now hit twice. Uh, he also has weakening on some of his attacks, a, uh, vortex, a static vortex move strong attack too. Honestly, he's just a solid character. We're going to put him in B uh, because he is still he's, he's really good now. He Before he got resurrected, he definitely would have ended up... Uh, C or lower, honestly, but Flurry honestly saves him, so we're gonna put him in B. Next, we have Kisuke Urahara, the movie version of Kisuke. Now, Kisuke also got Flurry, much like Ichigo. Unlike Ichigo, though, he his normal attacks don't pierce. They're still quite effective, and his last attack on the normal attack string does pierce, uh, and it goes in separate directions, making it even more effective, but the normal attack doesn't pierce, making him a bit slower. Still, a pretty, you know, he can still do heavy damage because of the Flurry, and his link, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I can't exactly remember what the secondary link is. There we go. Yeah, it's his his link is a strong tech recharge link, uh, along with a full stamina, uh, uh, I mean a stamina recovery link, making him actually uh, a useful, useful link to have. And if you want to use him, you can use him. Hit, just know that he'll be slow because he'll be slow. Um, okay. Next up, we have Tatsuki, who is a Metal Exchange character. We're going to put her down there because Metal Exchange. Uh, Jackie. Now, Jackie is actually a pretty good character. Unfortunately, she doesn't have much uniqueness going for her. She hits hard. She's a boost move with Enhancer. She has a strong attack damage link of 25% and decent range on her strong attacks. But that's it. Honestly, there's not much more to say about this character. It's just she's good. She's good, and we'll just leave it at that. She's good, but kind of basic. So we're just going to leave her, leave her here. Sorry, Jackie. Okay, next we have Aizen. I freaking love this character. This character's so good. So good. Really high SP, Frenzy, Beam Shot, Strong Attack 1, Crawling Vortex Move, Strong Attack 2 that can inflict weakening. All of his attacks can inflict weakening. Full Screen, Strong Attack 3, a normal attack that uh, is a bit unique since he has two uh, final attacks for his normal attack string, each spreading in, in, in three directions uh, and each having a one, oh, 360 mag. His normal attack is actually very effective despite him not being a normal attacking character. He's a strong attack recharge character, so they come back fast. You can spam this. Very good at inflicting weakening, like I said. Uh, immunity to freeze. Honestly, he's a very good character. Uh, yeah, a very good character uh, and deserves to be on A. I try not to put characters on A who don't have Berserker, but he he's exceptional, so we're going to put him in A. Uh, okay. Cone, gonna end up in F. Might, I should just start off with these in F by default, to be honest with you, instead of getting there. Uh, Byakuya, on the other hand, is not going in F, because Byakuya is one of the better links you can have, uh, better free links you can have. As you guys know, you get a Frenzy uh, ticket a month. Uh, he is one of the Frenzy characters you can get, and he's one of the best ones you can get, because his link is so useful. Strong tech damage and strong tech recharge. We're gonna put you in D, because you're only useful for your link, but, you know, you're not as bad as the characters below you. Okay. Next, we have Jushio. 
This Jushiro is good, but very annoying to use, I guess is the right word. He's got a high SP, he's got Frenzy, he's got a heal move strong attack too, and he's got a full stamina damage link of 25%, making it really you know useful since you can heal yourself and do a lot of damage with your strong attacks. The other two strong attacks have really good range. It's just, he's kind of slow because that strong attack too is a, is a heal move, so it comes back every 30 seconds, and he has no recharge ability, so it comes back after 30 seconds. Um, you can't like lower that unless you have a link. Uh, and if you take damage and it's not, you know, it, enough to be able to heal in one go, or if you don't have that strong attack ready, then you're just going to be out 25% of your damage potential that you would have had otherwise. So we're going to put him in B because he is still a really good character. He's just not, you know, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's a B. He's just B material. Sorry, sorry, buddy. B stands for buddy. All right. Next, we have uh, the Retsu, Retsu, the past version of Retsu, which looks like the current version. It's, she's a past version of Retsu, but she looks like the current version of Retsu. It's just the way some of these captains are anyway. Uh, really high attack with a plus 80 bruiser, I believe, and I'll double check here in a second, but I believe she also has a... Let me see. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, she also has a normal tech damage link of, of 20%, so her normal tech increase is actually 100%. Her normal tech spear, so strong attack 2 is a barrier move, which is really good for a normal attacker. Uh, Berserker at 40% and can inflict debilitating laceration with her strong attack 3 and her special. This, her special also heals her. Honestly, she's a, she's an effective autoer. She's kind of slow compared to some of the other characters because the other characters do have flurry. Um, but she's she's effective. She's an effective autoer. She can, she can do a lot of stuff by herself. I'll be a bit slower than them, but still, you know, pretty solid character. I enjoy using her a lot, uh, and she's one of the few characters that got uh, in that 80 bruiser range before they started giving flurry to normal attackers. I really... Ah, uh, Nell's among them too, and I really wish <laughs> they hadn't done that. Uh, anyway, next we have Ginrei Kuchiki. Ginrei is also a really good character. Uh, flurry on attacks, they're ranged. Honestly, that's it. He's got ranged flurry attacks, and they can inflict paralysis sometimes. Good character. Not much more to say about him, though. Uh, so there you go. Okay, next we have Namu. I freaking love this Namu. Lunge move strong attack 1, beam shot strong attack 2, full screen strong attack 3, well beyond full screen, she's got Havoc at 20, so all of these attacks have better ranged, her strong, her special uh, grants protection, meaning she comes back after uh, getting taken out, she's honestly just a very good character uh, with decent stats or a decent attack, uh, you know, despite not having a, a, a high, uh, a high uh, bruiser, uh, but she's honestly just a really good character, she also can flash step multiple times, letting her... Uh, Letting her dodge some enemies' uh, uh, specials, which is really, really useful. Um, and she's immune to being frozen, which, yay. Let me see, I think this was, yeah, this was way before innate skills. I think that's all she's got. Still, Berserker at 20, Frenzy, Havoc, great character. We're going to leave her there. Okay, next we have Grimjow. Grimjow, not exactly fun to use, but still a very, pretty effective character. Doesn't have Havoc, but does have good range on strong attacks. Can inflict debilitating poison on all of them. Uh, Berserker at 20%, Frenzy, honestly, solid character, don't have much complaints about him, he's kind of boring just because just <laughs> he doesn't have much, uh, I guess he doesn't have anything unique to him special about him, but he is still a really good character, who is uh, who does have a 14% strong attack recharge, so he can actually use his strong attacks a bit faster than other characters, but that's about it, that's all you got, sorry buddy. Okay. Next we have Orihime. I love this character. One of the best uh, support characters you can have. Not a great character in terms of speed, uh, but a really good support character. She can heal with her strong attack too and uh, create barriers. She's got Berserker at 20%, Frenzy, a really high SP. Uh, she's just she's a solid character. Slower than a lot of the others, but really effective at, a, at, a, at you know being support. So we're going to put her in A. Uh, just because she can't actually deal damage, it's just a bit more spread out and slow. Okay, next we have Riruka. What, my favorite Riruka in this game, by the way. I freaking love this character. She's so much fun to use. Uh, and despite not having guard break, she's still a very, very good normal attacker. All of her attacks have a chance to inflict debilitating weakening. Her strong attack 2 is a vortex move that surrounds her. Very effective for a normal attacker, especially a melee one like herself. Uh, and she's just weakening on everything attack. It's just, it's just, just a really good character. I, I absolutely love this character. I'm going to put her in A for sure. Okay, next we have this guy whose name I always forget despite seeing it all of the time. Makoto, there we go. Makoto. I always forget it. I mean, it's just 
annoying. Uh, Makoto, despite him being annoying and me pulling him on filler stuff often and on tickets often, uh, he's actually a pretty good character with a high SP, uh, debilitating laceration on everything, hybrid vortex moves strong attack too, uh, berserker at 20%, and guard break as well as frenzy. So he's actually a really good character. Uh, nothing particularly super special about him, but among the people in A, he is one of the better ones just because he's got guard break and he's got such... Uh, high stats and Berserker and everything. He's, he's a really good character. I wouldn't put him in S just because S is kind of reserved for the really top tier, tier stuff. Uh, but that's as far as he goes. Speaking of really top tier stuff, we have Ichigo, the fifth anniversary version of Ichigo, who... Oh boy, okay. <laughs> really high SP, Berserker at... What is it? 60%, weakening on everything, Frenzy, Marauder, uh, Charge Move Strong Attack 3 that hits like a truck, uh, Havoc at 20, making it beyond full screen when fully charged and a strong attack too is very near full screen uh and then we have a lunge move double killer of hollow and a wrong car honestly this guy is insanely good i'm gonna put him over here i don't particularly like the mullet i'm not gonna lie i don't like this guy's hair i like it when it's on mugetsu not particularly fond of it on this design i don't know why it's just how i feel sorry if you feel otherwise still looks cool it just bothers me anyway the character is really really good i'm gonna put him in s because you can't put him anywhere below that, because Ichigo. Anyway, uh, next we have Yoroichi. Yoroichi is also a really, really good character. High SP, uh, debilitating burn on everything but a strong attack too, which is a boost move with Enhancer. Uh, it also hits an area very near full screen. She also has Guard Break, uh, the ability to read hollow dodges, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, she's a Yoroichi, so she can dodge multiple times, making specials pretty much pointless against her. She's got Guard uh, Havoc. And Guard Break. I think I said Guard Break already. Uh, Berserker at 20%. Uh, Havoc at 20 which is great because her Strong Attack 1 is a Beam Shot, which is the best thing you can have for a Strong Attack 1 is a Beam Shot. And a Beyond Full Screen Strong Attack 3 would burn on everything. She's very uh, close to Makoto in terms of skills. They both have debilitating something. But her Strong Attacks are way better uh, because of their range, because of the Havoc, because of what they are. Being a Beam Shot and, and everything else. Uh, and the Flash Steps help too. So I'm going to put her in S. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna put her in S. Okay, and then finally we have Kokuto here. I like the design of the other one better, uh, just because I, I really don't like looking at the, the, the bad side of his face. It's just all burnt and stuff. I think the other one looks cooler. Uh, but this one is still really, really good. Beam Shot Strong Attack 1 that's got Bizarre Dimension. This 1000-1000. It's basically kind of the range of a full screen, but not really. Still a Beam Shot on a Strong Attack 1 that has that. It's really, really good. Havoc at 20%. Weakening on everything. Strong Attack 2... Uh, is also similar to the other two characters in S, where it's very near full screen. Strong Attack 3 is beyond full screen because he has Havoc. Guard Break, uh, Berserker at 20% Frenzy. Honestly, this guy is great, and he's a he's a potion drop character. He's a very good character, so we're gonna put him on S as well. But there you have it, you guys. That's the, uh, that's the S, the S. That's the tier list for the, uh, Power Hollow Killer characters in the game. Uh, if you ask me, there's a lot of really good characters here, a lot of the, basically everyone in S and A, and a lot of the characters in B. They're just a bit slower than everybody else, but it can still get the job done relatively easily. That said, it's been a while. I mean, the last one that we had was Kokuto, and that was a while ago, you know? And before that was, was Yoroichi, and that was in February of this year. We're in December, we're about to end the year. And before that was 5th was Anniversary, which is in July of the previous year. We don't have very many Power Hollow Killers, and we definitely need some more because, I mean, it's been a while. But, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make another one of these because I want to get some prepped up for, uh, for uh, Christmas break. But with that said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, leave a like on the channel. It really does help out a lot. I know people say that. It's true. It really does help out a lot. Uh, and if you didn't enjoy it, if you didn't agree, yeah, that's fine too. You know, feel free to do whatever. Hit dislike. I don't care. Uh, just let me know what your what your uh, what your different opinions are in, on the, in the chat below. Because you know, maybe I missed something. I'm human. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great night. Great uh, Christmas if you celebrate it. Great 25th if you don't. <laughs> but that said, take care.